Okay, just a quick uh, cell phone video on here on how to mount the uh, dual light bracket onto the Inspire 1. Um, this assumes you've already either printed or downloaded or bought a uh, one of the dual light brackets and that you um, have two lights mounted on the bracket itself. Uh, this is the material that you'll want to use to to mount it. Uh, this is the Scott's version. It's, it's just rebranded. There's, it's actually made by 3M. Um, but you'll want to use, in this case, it's the Extreme. It says it holds 10 pounds. That's per strip. Or uh, uh, it also it's uh, e equal to uh, 2 pounds per square inch uh, on this stuff. So it's uh, pretty rigid. It also doesn't move around like uh, Velcro does. It's pretty rigid stuff. So that's what you'll want to use. And then uh, all you do is you take and you get a couple of those strips and you'll mount them uh, side to side horizontal. Uh, it tends to cover and, and have the best coverage on them and just cut them to, to size there and mount them flush uh, uh, with the sensors there on the back. And simple as that. You see where I've done that. Then you'll just do take cut the same size and do the exact same th thing on the light bracket here. And uh, then all you'll do to do it is simply put it underneath here. It's kind of a two-handed operation. I'll try to do it with one. And I got it, I think. And uh, you can see it's it's as sturdy as can be. There's a it's not going anywhere. And uh, and to remove it, it's like is a two-handed operation because again it's probably about 10 pounds of force, and I just hold on to the Inspire here, and then. Uh, remove it on the bottom and pull it off on the bottom but you'll want to actually pick up the airframe otherwise if you just push straight down on this right now you're gonna smack your uh, pretty expensive lights into the the concrete of the table here and I don't really want to do that so I'll, I'll go ahead and remove it real quick and there it is that's it